they're giving out security clearances like candy, they say. Hi, this is Lenny Kaiser with clearancejobs.com. We've been covering the current Senate proposals to reform the security clearance process. All in on security clearance reform. It's a topic I've been covering since I started working for clearancejobs.com. There are always efforts to reform the security clearance process. That were There were some that were in place prior to the to share leaks born out of what we're seeing now with Donald Trump and Mike Pence, uh, Biden investigations around their having and holding classified information, put classified documents in the spotlight. The Senate Intelligence Committee looked into that. Um, rightly have a couple of bills addressing clearance reform. What I hate is their talking points that continue to come out. Senator Cornyn was on Newsmax this week and literally said, they're giving out security clearances like candy people. That is not true. That is not the case. That is not the narrative that needs to come. Senate reform people, love your efforts to address overclassification. Um, putting the document, the spotlight on protecting information at the document level is a good spotlight to shine. We have an overclassification problem, but drawing down the number of security clearances is always a low hanging fruit. And the narrative that keeps getting pushed out is really ramming your national security workforce in the head. And I would really love for that to stop. Um, nobody returns my calls over there anymore. Shocker. Um, but uh, I do think that we'll see some security clearance reforms happening. I think if you have a security clearance today, Hold on to it because I think the desk audits are coming. We've already seen that coming out of the Department of Homeland Security. I've had several people ask if the current legislation is going to slow down the security clearance process. No, I mean, I don't think that's gonna happen. The good news is if you are hired for a position, that position needs a security clearance, your timeliness should not be affected by these legislative proposals. The issue is the clearance mobility piece of it, which we've been talking about as a key piece of the reform effort is going to be negatively impacted by this because they're looking to slash your eligibility where it's not necessarily specifically required to the position that you're in today. Again, those desk audit processes of looking to slash eligibility numbers, regardless of the actual mission need is where we start to see really a crunch around the mobility of our workforce, the inability to flex that supply demand as we need to, to move people into billets again, with the mobility that we need. Um, so I always prefer a look at the information at the document level. And again, the more people that you have vetted, the better. What a vetting process does is it creates penalties for not properly disclosing, for improperly disclosing information. And that's what we want. What we don't want is people who are living in the periphery with close access to classified information, but who don't actually have a security clearance that actually reduces and eliminates our ability to address issues with those folks as easily as we can if they have a security clearance. Getting people vetted is a good thing. Um, again, especially at the secret level with automation, with the Trusted Workforce 2.0 reforms that we're seeing, we see a lot more ability to do that well. We're going to see that population increasing through Trusted Workforce as we start to vet the entire suitability population. So again, addressing the numbers and just saying that we're giving out security clearances like candy is A, not the case and actually doesn't address the issue, which is access, need to know, how these systems are being tracked and monitored, and then what are we doing like in the Teixeira case, if we see violations, are we actually prosecuting those? Are we actually doing what we need to do? Are we addressing again, access to information at the information and data level? So no, we don't have too many people with security clearances. Maybe we have too many people in Congress, 535 members of Congress, who made up that number? Let's, let's look into that. For more on the security clearance reform efforts, the Sensible Classification Act, the Overclassification Act, and there are good parts of those bills. I don't hate everything on your bills, but I hate some parts of it. Visit us over at clearancejobs.com.